This is a video where I'm going to be going over how to animate lights inside of Lumion. Now, most people using the animate light effect would only be using it to change color. But something that I think is really interesting is that you can actually change it to a certain color so that it will just not appear. Uh, by doing this, you can just time them in a certain way that you can get an animation like I just showed before the introduction. Hopefully you'll stick around to the end of the video and hopefully you'll learn something. So I have a very generic model starting out. It's just a corridor with a little um, room at the end. It has some light fixtures in it. I've already gone and put the Lumion lights in, put some Lumion textures on it. That's really it. There's nothing special here. Uh, and I also got a horse statue from Sketchfab because they are in the public domain and I can use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly make a little animation. So I'll just go closer here. So it's maybe here. The texture up here got messed up, but I figured I wouldn't bother changing it because you know, like whatever. <laughs> it doesn't uh, doesn't change how the tutorial works, so I figured I'll just leave it. So maybe we'll make this 11 seconds. Let's just see how fast this is. Okay, I think that should be a pretty good speed. Right. Yeah, I think that's good. So what we're going to do is we'll go to custom style, maybe do like night. So there is a lot of noise when that happens. So I, I'll, I'll just try putting a quick reflection plane on. I don't know if this would actually help. I think it might be the hyperlight. So yeah, it's just the hyperlight. So I'll just undo that. Uh, turn this down to like 2%. And so maybe just something like down there. You just have to play around with it a little bit. So I think. Yeah, something like that should be good. I don't care if there's there's noise, but I am going to turn down the lights here because they are quite strong. Uh, and this gives you a better idea of how the lights are going to be set up there. So I will turn this down to like 20. You really don't need much. Um, and actually, I do want this one to be bigger or brighter. Sorry. OK, so that is how it will look at the be at the ending. And yeah, so I think that's all good to go. So we'll go back into movie mode. You're going to go to effect, um, effects. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to drop the animated lights on and I'm going to quickly show you how you can control them. So animation, animate color lights. Now the issue with this, and this is just kind of annoying, but it does work is that each set of lights that you want to animate has to be its own effect. So with this one, uh, here's an example, I'm going to click on this and this hit okay now i'm going to take red green blue all the way down and as you can see when you do that it just removes light altogether because the color that's left is black and so a black light in lumion there's just nothing nothing comes out there's no um there's just nothing left. So what we can do is we can actually keyframe these in so that red, green and blue will shoot up at the same time and the lights will flip on. There is a bit of a lag where you can kind of see the light coming in, but it is pretty good. And that's just kind of I, I think that that's just kind of something you have to sort of live with this trick, because the fastest that you can get it to go is uh, I believe it's a tenth of a second. That's how every frame. So there, there is it takes a tenth of a second for the light to show up. Uh, you'll you'll see it in a minute. That is the only downside to this, but I think it does work pretty well. So select lights. Uh, this time we're going to go here and here. OK, red, green, blue. So I'm going to do this with all the lights so that they're all in their own layer. And I'll just speed this up. OK, so I sped that up. As you can see, we now have 12 different animate light colors. So I understand you're probably like, this seems really annoying. I don't want to do this, but it is actually pretty cool. So if you will just uh, kind of get through that annoying part, then it's th that's the worst part of it. The rest of it goes pretty fast. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that the first light pops up about here. So we're going to go into colors here. Uh, we're going to, oh, there is one thing I have to do. So I have to come back here. I'm going to go keyframe because we want it to be zero. So then what I do is I come about right here. So I typically make it so that the top of my screen is touching this light. So we're going to keyframe this in. Now this one is still going to be zero. So you can move it back a little bit if you want, but that's just where I like to have it. So down here, you're going to look at the total. Uh, I believe we can't keyframe it again until it's uh, zero minutes, zero seconds, and nine, nine tenths. So what we're going to do is just slightly drag it up. And then as you can see, once it hits 90, the keyframe will pop back up. So right, so 87 for this one, it does vary a little bit, but pop this on. And then now this is what will happen. So as I, as I said, you can see a little bit of a delay, but I think it's good enough. Um, so we can just keep motoring through this. Um, and you can kind of, um, you know, this really does just work in any way you want. Once you change the lights, uh, if you change the lights outside of the animation, it shouldn't affect anything because all we're changing is the, the color of the light. So it's going from black to white um, and black is not visible, white is. So we're gonna keep going. So we'll go till it's about here. Right, and then we will put in colors one. So we'll keyframe this here. And we're gonna move this up slightly. So it's right here. Now, something we do need to do is we just need to drag it back to the beginning, keyframe these, and they should be zero. So let's play this through and see what this looks so far. So one comes on, two comes on, cool. All right, and now I'm just going to speed up these last ones and I'll talk when we get to the room here, just because that is a little bit different, but same kind of same concept. So if we just want to see where we're at, as you can see, the lights are coming on. Now, I will just speed up this last part until we get to the end of the hallway. Uh, it, it does follow a pretty similar pattern, but I figured I should just show you how that part works as well. Uh, but besides that, that's really you know, more or less what we're going to be doing. So let's just, uh, let's finish it up. Okay, so now we're at the end of the hallway. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna make it go all around, but we're gonna go a little bit faster just because I want the like effect. <laughs> and uh, right, so I'll just do a couple of those and then I'll speed it up. Uh, we're gonna go to lights five, so you can just test it to see if the like what light it is. Just drag the red up, and I find you can just tell right off the bat like that. So once we're right here, maybe pull it back a little bit. So once it gets here, this one comes on. So, oh no, sorry. So then we'll keyframe this up a little bit. Here, 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 and here. And then we're gonna go to the next one. And I like to leave it right here. So keyframe it right there so that the lights are immediately after one another. And as you can see, this one turns on. Do I have the right one there? Uh, no, I didn't the first time. Okay, so this is the one I want. So just make sure, yeah, just make sure you have the right one. I'm gonna mess this one up. This is why I think like, it can be a little bit weird. So let's zoom up ahead. So I might actually just, yeah, I'll speed this up again, but this, I did just mess this part up.
All right, and that should be all the animation. So what I'm going to do is uh, just kind of walk through it one more time. So as you can see, the hallway lights are coming on, and you could you know go into Premiere and add in some um, effects of lights coming on, like a loud like metal noise, I guess. But as you can see, that part works. Um, the only thing I will say is that I don't like how fast the big light comes on. So I think it's this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this keyframe. I'm going to move it right to the end here. Something like that. Now I'll put this on. So it'll be a little more gradual. Let's just see how that looks. I, I think this will be a lot better. It just seemed like it was all coming on a little too quick there. And I probably will turn the lights down a little bit more, at least the hallway ones. Okay, so yeah, I'll uh, make these changes. This will come down three or something. So that's a little low. So maybe something like uh, just 10. You'd be surprised how strong the lights are when they're at that low value. Like I wouldn't recommend using much higher for a lot of interior scenes because it, it was just like you'll see how like these are how bright 10 is. So the, the, this is light strength 10 and Lumi on default lights are 300. So yeah, you kind of get the you're gonna get the point of that. Um, yeah. So I think that that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to render this one out and put it at the beginning of the video. So hopefully uh, people will find that helpful because I thought this was a really cool trick. And honestly, I would put this as a beginner level. You don't need anything crazy. All you are using are the Lumion lighting nodes and then this effect. And it is a little bit tedious, but I do really like the fact that the Lumion devs allow you to have multiple uh, animate co light colors effects. This might have been something that just got put in because I know that they had made this change for material highlights, but they might have actually gone through and made the change then. So this may not even be possible uh, up until Lumion 11.3, but I could be wrong about that. So uh, if someone knows for sure in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. If you found the video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave me a like and also comment below the video saying what you liked or disliked about the video. I do read all the comments. so. Uh, whether it's uh, a compliment or just a snarky remark. I do read everything and I do take them into consideration. So uh, I would love your input on that. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button below and also ring the bell so you can join us for some future videos. If you are already subscribed to the channel, I just want to say thank you very much. It's awesome to see the channel is growing and it's awesome to connect with all of you from around the world. So hopefully we'll have more videos coming out. We, we did get a little bit busy with work, but... Uh, there's going to be a lot more videos coming out this week, so hopefully everyone will stick around for those. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay healthy.